Good morning. I thought I would give you a wee tour in my she shed. You often hear me saying I craft in my garage, but when it's cold, I bring stuff out and I put it inside. There's my garage door, and here's my way in. There's my IKEA unit as well, my paper and my TV over the back. That's where I store most of my A4 card sheets. Down below it there's another unit and that's like a Christmas drawer and a Halloween drawer, spring drawer. That's different themed drawers. And this is my table. The wee drawers there hold extra glues, some washi tape, some paints, things like that. Here's my pens. Spectrum Noir on the bottom and some of my pro markers on the top. I've got some in a big carrier bag in the inside. This is my watercolours that I made. Trust me to pick up black and you can see it. There's lime green. That's the watercolours that I made. I've had them for a few years and they do okay. My tools that I use, some glitters. That's just glitters that, you know the things that you use all the time that you go to? Well that's what's on my desk. That's what I keep in my desk. And there's my books that I use some pages from. My canvases, I'm going to start a canvas today. I'm going to have a go at a mixed media canvas, so I've left the two there. That is where I store my dies. That's a big, they're A5 folders. And I'll show you, I'll give you a wee look in. There's a china one. I've got that many dies, honestly. I've got hundreds and hundreds. It's an A5 folder, just a plain old A5 folder. And these pockets are... The Paper Mania do craft ones, but I've got a funny feeling. No, it's not. They're all right. And that's the way I store my dies. As you can see, I've got them kind of set out in brands, etc. But I've got loads and loads that are not in folders yet. Because I need to buy more folders. There's some that just came in the last week or so. Last couple of weeks even. That one. I've got that one. I've never even used it. I've got a paper pad for it, but I've never used it. That was an impulse buy. Um, my happy cut, my cutting boards, my cutting scoreboard. There's some more of them dies stuff there. That's an absolute love this cutting board. I bought this in the I can't even remember what week it is. It says somewhere. I think it's memory keepers actually. It's either memory keeper. Keepers are Martha Stewart, but I have a funny feeling Martha Stewart's are white. So I think it might be memory keepers. There's some in my card that I use every day, some napkins. This is two spare storage boxes, so I need to go and buy something to put in them. That's some of the vinyl that I use in there, some more card. Here's how I store my washes. See them? My washi, my sticky tape, and my ribbon. They are on coat hangers with four rails on them and I just hang them up on there and they drawers in the back it's like see, my brushes um, the lollipop things what does that say sharpies chalks and re-anchors baby theme things for my baby cakes I made a few of the baby cakes these ribbons and things like that in there all the way down, I've got my UT and things like that down the bottom, up the top, gel, eh, gems, sorry, this big white thing here, this is my roller pencils, I made that roll myself, it's a Spectrum Noir eh, blendable pencils, here's some card and some wee bits of bling, this wee bit here, this was full of card all the way across here, this shelf right at my back, but I kind of moved it all and just messed about with it recently, so that's how there's a space there. Some stamps. I should really be ashamed with the amount of stamps I've got. I should hang my head in shame, but I'm not going to. Leather craft goods. That's for making my bracelets. 
all sorts of things in here. Dies and my punches and my eyelet setter and my leather thread and my scalpels, some eyelets. I've got my leather punches in here as well for punching all the different holes for different straps etc. Over here on the bottom shelf there, the black box is my fairy garden items. I've got some fairy garden items in there that I bought in Florida. And then it's the funky foam and the felt on the top. At the side there, that is a box, two big boxes of buttons. And some giant tea bags for making bath tea. Next shelf is my paints in there. That's all my acrylics in there. And my heat gun and my light, my extra light, etc. And then next along is all my MDF, my plaques, my wall plaques, fairy doors, different bits and pieces, and my light boxes in there. <laughs> Stupid dogs. And there's some more MDF there, and my modelling tools for my clay. That's my gesso and my modelling paste, and some bling for own cards, etc. That's a load of beads and a load of flowers, a load of uh, silver findings. Up the top is a box with A4 stamp sheets out of the news, the magazines. Some Christmas tree boxes for all turns, some envelopes. And that's like my gelatos and my acrylics, watercolours, things like that are all in there. Over, over, as you can see, that's stamps. I'll get up and come over. This is the way I used to store my stamps years ago. Because all the way in there. And that's different stamp sets and I would store them in old CD cases. These ones up here, I don't know why I bought these ones because they're not even at the packet. I've never used them. And it's these Crafter's Companion ones. And I keep threatening to sell them but I've never got into it because crafters don't sell their things. Anyway, there's some wee snowmen I made for my tree last year. And there is more stamps and more stamps and more stamps. And down the bottom is my book with my ideas, my extra glue sticks, my blending brushes, things like that are down there. And up the top there, I've got teacups for pin cushions and some rub-ons. My dog themed stuff in the blue box. Uh, why? That's, jet, that's tubs for... My creams and my potions and lotions that I make. I make arthritis cream and things. There's CDs. You know the CDs? There must be about 95% of them not even used. I don't use them. But anyway, you used to get them with things years ago and then I would buy them because I thought I would need them. And They came with the, the uh, Crafter's Companion, the Ultimate Pro, Pro, Pro and things like that. That's my glitters and my sequins. And things there. That tin there has got stamps in it. There must be, I would reckon, about 200 stamps in here. They're from an American company and I bought a bung load and I've sectioned them all out into different theme bags and there's literally, literally hundreds in it. So deep. Anyway, that's another one of them that you keep meaning to get ready. But you don't. So, that's a wee quick look. There's my tool and my things hanging up in here. This is things that I don't tend to use that much. My knitting and my crochet and stuff up the top. That wee black box is my spray um, varnish, etc. for when I paint stones or whatever. And that's boxes with extra scissors and extra bits and pieces in. My wreath um, forms are there. That's a couple of big boxes of leather. I've got loads and loads and loads of leather. And the white things are carriage lanterns for Alton. I made the horse one last year for my aunt. It was a cracker. I've got a couple of sets of these drawers. The first one's got all my sewing gear in. It's got fat quarters, um, rotary blades, threads, sewing things, things like that. Are all in there. This one has got like, my E6000 and my extra glues for the estates. 
because I tend to fill up on them when I'm away. Spray adhesives and oh come on, get in there. It's cause I'm trying to do it sideways. There. Um I've got card blanks and things like that in there. There's my glass blocks for doing my acrylic blocks. I put signs on them and there's the door. That was signs I made for my son when he was gaming in here. So it's new my wee craft. That bag up there is cartridges for my Cricket Explorer. Because I've got a Cricket Explorer. That's through there in the garage. See it? Geek. Uh, liquid perils and some embossing folders. These things in here. These. This is a bigger set of drawers. It's got my paper pads for Alton. Some bags for putting goodies in. Other paper pads. Post-it notes. Some notebook covers that I've made and snowflakes and all the way down there's like paper pads and extra card planks and then it's my fire and there's Hello Kitty and my little princess things and that's the way I used to store my ribbon and as I said there's my calyx unit there and that there that wee one there that has got extra leather and things like that in. and there's my banjo remember I told you I had a banjo I'm going to learn to play it well there that's there and you might see the rough bit of ceiling up there. I had a disaster the other day I come out and I said I could smell dampness and there's a damp bit up in my ceiling. So they've had to take a bit of the ceiling down and some are insulating but it's going to get fixed at the weekend so there's no problem. And nothing get ruined and nothing get touched anyway. So there's my coffee waiting on me folks. I hope you've liked this wee semi kind of guided tour as you can see. I'm not too untidy a crafter, but I like my things round about me so I can just sit in my chair and pick it up. Right, that's enough for just now. Thank you very much. Hit me a like and a subscribe and the notification buttons if you want to see some more. If you would like to see anything in detail, give me a... Leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And I'm going to come on later on, hopefully with the start of my canvas. Okay then folks, bye!